Alright guys, so because I'm getting these kits early, these are obviously not the official boxes that the kits are going to come in. These are just some plain white boxes because these are just kind of pre-releases just for me to test out and share with you guys. The full versions will have the full box art and everything on them and there will probably be some other stuff in there. But another important thing to note for you guys is that this is essentially the first run version of this kit where you get all the normal colored armor but then you also get a second set of armor that changes the color to like black and red with gold accents. So you'll see that as we'll have doubles of a lot of the runners and that's basically just for making the alternate color version. For today, here are the two sets. So the normal version is going to be on the left side, the DX version is going to be on the right side as we go through this unboxing. As you can see, the manuals are exactly the same, so there's not going to be any difference in the manual, at least with the ones that I have here. I don't know if the final printing is going to have any difference in the manual, but it looks like the manual does show you how to build the frame, even though on the DX version the frame will already be pre-built for you, so basically you'll just skip the first page or so. But otherwise, yeah, just looking through this, looks like everything is in fact exactly the same. It's basically just all of the construction of the kit. In the very back here we do also have a decal guide that said my version did not include the decal so I think those will be included with the regular release of the kits, just that mine didn't include them. Here's a look at the parts list. There is going to be a lot of parts. As you can see, these boxes are pretty big and pretty full, so there's a lot of kit to build. There's your decal sheet and everything. So just digging through the box here, I'm noticing that some of the runners all you know, look similar, but there is some slight differences in the colors and everything, so we'll take a closer look at the runners here in just a minute. Like I said, the main difference between them is going to be the pre-built metal frame in the deluxe version, and here's a look at that, how it's packed. So it's packed very safely in this plastic container. So let's go ahead and pop this out and see what this is like. We'll move the frame around a little bit and just see how it holds up, if anything breaks right away, you know that's going to be an issue, but first impression is it looks very nice. You can see it's not entirely metal, those uh, lighter color bits, those different color bits are plastic, so it's mostly metal, and then with some plastic parts around here and there, around some of the joints and things. You're going to want to move this around before building the kit anyway, just to kind of break everything in. The nice thing about the mix of plastic and metal though, is that it does kind of make it look two-tone on the frame, instead of if it just if it was solid metal, you know, that it's just all just the one same color, but this gives you a nice couple of colors there for the frame. So if you aren't planning on painting it, of course, that does look nice. Here's a look at what our hands look like in here. These are also just seem like plastic, just sprayed with just a metallic gunmetal paint. So now we'll get into all the runners and everything, starting off here with the base. The base is exactly the same for both versions, just black, plastic, nothing really too special here, as long as holds up the kit. So for the DX version, you got the full frame and the hands separate. On the regular version, you have the hands just separated out in this bag. So the hands are actually going to be the exact same for both versions. Even in the regular version, they're uh, metallic coated. So runners A and B are going to be the inner frame parts that are going to be included with the regular version to build your frame, whereas with the DX version, you're not going to have these runners included. Here's runner C for the regular version is in yellow and the DX version is in plated gold. But our main color of the C runner is actually going to be here in clear green. The regular version is just going to be in a plain, normal clear green, whereas the DX version is going to be in a pearl coated, so it's like a sparkly looking clear green just from the coating on there. We're going to have the same thing here with the D runner. It's in regular clear green and then a pearl coated clear green for the DX version. Here's runner E. Once again, these are both in red, but slightly different as you can see there. The normal version is just in a red plastic, whereas the DX version is actually in a sort of pre-painted red, so it's already painted there for you. Same thing with the F runner. The normal version is in red plastic. The DX version is painted red already for you. It's the same thing for the G runner here, but it's just in a little bit lighter red color this time. Here's a look at runner H, the red version of runner H anyway. You got the regular red plastic and then painted red plastic. And the other H runner is going to be in blue. Now it's kind of hard to tell, to tell the difference between these as it's not painted blue like the red was painted red. This is blue plastic and then like we saw with the clear green, it's actually just coated on the DX version is just coated with that pearlescent kind of spray on top of the blue. Here's runner I is going to be some frame parts. As you can see, it's in a kind of regular gunmetal color, but on the DX version, it is actually in a once again sprayed, kind of pre-painted gunmetal color there for you, kind of silver gunmetal, which looks really nice. Both versions look nice, but there's definitely a difference you can tell between these. Here's runner J, the black version of runner J. It's just plain black plastic. The DX version is that pearl coated black plastic. Taking a close up look at those, you can see that does look really nice, that pearl coated black. The other version of the J runner is in a very light blue. And once again, this is just light blue plastic and painted light blue plastic. Really hard to tell the difference between these two, even when you have them right next to each other. They do catch the light differently though, so you'll see how the details are easier to see on the one. 
ones that are in the DX version that are already painted. Here's runner K. We got black and pearl coated black for the DX version once again. And our other version of the K runner is in a very light gray. You've got just regular un unpainted gray plastic and then painted gray plastic there. Runner L we've got once again in regular gunmetal for the normal version and in a coated like silver gunmetal color there for the DX version. And finally Runner M is just all clear parts there for the base basically and that's going to be the same on both versions of the kit. But alright guys, so I've got the kit all built up now and I just wanted to show you this first. This is all the leftover parts you're going to have that are unused for the kit. But even more than that, this this is all the optional armor parts if you're getting the first edition, which has the option to make the black and red armor. I'm not going to show you that to you guys, I just built them up in the original color scheme. But these are all of the leftover parts to build it up in the alternate color scheme, and there's a lot of leftovers. Alright guys, I can tell you, putting these two kits together took a long time, the kits have a lot of pieces and it just took forever, but here are the, both of them all put together. You can see the normal version and the deluxe version, it should be pretty obvious to tell. The main giveaway, just looking at them just together, is going to be probably the yellow versus the gold parts on them, that's going to be the most obvious difference right off the bat, but look at them closely, you can definitely see some differences and we'll definitely take some closer looks at different areas of the kits. The weight is also a huge difference, obviously with the metal frame in the deluxe version, but either Either way, very detailed, a lot of part separation in there, just a ton of parts and very cool weapons and accessories included as well, so we'll take a look at all of that here in the review portion of the video. Let's get down to it. Okay, so just to demonstrate the weight, let's go ahead and weigh the normal version here. It's coming in at 180-ish grams around there, and the deluxe version coming in at 328 grams, so quite a big difference as you can see there in the, just the weight of the kit. So yeah, just taking a look at them side by side, like I said, that yellow and gold is gonna be kind of the main thing that you're gonna notice, but you can definitely see like in these reds, how these painted reds on the DX version do look really nice, because basically the entire kit is painted. The blue parts aren't necessarily painted, they're just coated with that kind of pearl coating on there versus the regular version, but the regular version, I mean, just that blue plastic does have kind of a nice shine to it there as well. So even there, it's not a huge difference between them. The green, the clear green parts are definitely gonna be a big thing that you can notice with the pearl coating on the green there as well. That clear green's definitely gonna stand out a lot more on the DX version. But all that said, if you are planning on getting the kit and painting it, I would recommend getting the normal version because with the DX version, that's gonna be a lot of uh, paint and coating and everything on all the parts that you're gonna have to strip off before you go in and paint it. So it's nice to have the metal frame and it definitely seems like a really nice frame on this. It definitely gives it a lot of weight and a very solid feeling, but this one, I gotta say, the normal version does also feel completely solid. I wouldn't have any issues with it, but we'll see once we get to holding the weapons and everything. As long as it's able to hold the weapons without too much issue, I think this is definitely the one to get if you plan on painting the kit. Whereas if you're not planning on painting, the DX version, it definitely it looks fantastic just straight out of the box. You can just go in and do a little bit of panel lining on it and that's really about it. And like I said, once the kit is fully released, it is going to have water slide decals that you can put on there as well. It's just that mine did not include them as I mentioned in the unboxing. So let's get into the accessories here, starting with the base, which is this very weird looking bug thing, but that's just because I have everything put on here. The instruction manual shows you how to build it like this first, and you can kind of choose whether you really want to have everything attached on here or not. Like for example, this like little arm here, which can be used to just like help hold up your weapons or something like that, it has a little C-clamp here on the end. You can kind of adjust the angles of that for grabbing onto stuff. So you can just completely omit this if you don't want to have that on there, just take that off. The main arm of the base just works as normal. You've got a, like a little lever there. You can undo that to change the angle of this and you can also change the angle of the top. Now this top bar here is like this fork style adapter. There's nothing that actually plugs into the kit. It just holds the kit up on this, which if you guys have ever worked with like master grade kits before and using this type, type of adapter, it doesn't really always work very well depending on the type of pose you want to do. So not really too keen on that. And of course you got these parts that curve out for like your effects or again for like holding weapons and things like that. So these you can adjust the angle of in, out, up, down. You can rotate that back. You can angle this up and do all sorts of movement with that. Now you can hear that rattling around. That's our little drawer here, which pulls out. That's where all your extra adapter little pieces are, which will slide onto this track that circles around the outside there. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that. And then our hands are gonna be exactly the same as they're both uh, in that kind of gunmetal color. The only difference is gonna be the part on the back of the hand is gonna be very slightly different between the two kits. Here is the beam rifle weapon, which again, you should be able to tell the DX version here is a little bit more shiny 
it's in gunmetal, whereas the normal version is in just kind of, it's also kind of like a dark gunmetal, but it's obviously just not going to be as shiny. That little clear green piece for the camera is not going to pop quite as much on the normal version, but it still looks pretty nice. As you can see with the DX version here, I've got this seam that I just can't seem to get pushed together, and that's going to be the other issue with the DX version because all the parts are coated. Some, you are going to have a little bit of fitting issues. You're going to have to put a little bit more work into pushing some of these parts together just because they have the extra coating on the pieces. You might have to press it really hard to get some of those parts together, and this one's just not working with me, so I'll have to either shave that part down a little bit on the inside there or something, but pretty cool rifle design, pretty simple, nothing really too crazy there. Here is its massive sword weapon, and again, you can just see the difference between the normal version here and the DX version here. That clear green is gonna look not that different with these because it's not, pearl coating is not like as noticeable, I guess, here on these just because you have just so much clear green there. But those also look very nice. The sword is very long, measures almost 26 centimeters in length, so it's gonna be quite tall. Definitely about as tall, if not taller, than the actual kit itself. And then we have the shield, which also looks super cool. Now again, between the two versions, the yellow and the gold, yellow versus the gold, I should say, is gonna be the main thing you're gonna notice between the two versions of those. The gold does look really, really nice on there. And if we take a look around on the back side of this, these blades can fold out. So it's kind of similar to like the Shinanjus. Those can fold out and then you can actually remove those and you can attach them together. So these actually then fit together like that and then you can hold this in the hand as like a double edge sort of axe weapon like that. Very cool. And you have your long clear green effect parts that you can swap out on these. So you just pop off these which is very easy to do. Almost too easy to be honest. Sometimes they fall out by accident. And you could do like half like that or swap out both of them for the full effect like that. Now you can attach these back onto the shield as well, of course, and that's going to look like so. So like I said, very Shinanju-esque with that, but those effect parts on there look very cool. And again, don't really add very much to the weight of that, so it should be fine. And one last thing that you can do with the shield is actually extend it out, sort of like Wing Gundam Zero style with the extension of that shield like that. So it's very tight, kind of difficult to do, but that does extend out for like a pile driver type weapon there built into the shield as well very cool but on the dx version once again there's what the back of that looks like it's going to look very nice with that just being a very shiny metallic color but this will just fit onto the forearm there and again it's pretty large but it doesn't really seem to weigh all that much i don't think we'll probably have too much weight issues with this also very sharp so just make sure you're paying attention to that make sure you don't poke yourself with any of these parts some of these parts are very sharp on this kit now let's zoom in here and take a closer look just at some of the details of the kit the head is also very spiky you have all these little parts going on there and so you are going to want to be careful with that. Again, just a lot of delicate little parts in there, but I found it to be pretty simple. The coated parts on the DX version are going to be a little bit tighter. So again, just make sure you take your time and just push everything, you know, not too hard. Don't want to break anything, especially on those little parts. But the head does look great. I'm not going to go through all of the articulation in detail because basically it's got all the articulation that you would expect from like a normal, like modern master grade kit from Bandai. But just to go over some of the moving parts here on this, for example, these parts here on the chest move, and that's just kind of all also part of the transformation. This section of the chest can also be removed and you have a separate like little cap piece that you can put on there if you prefer, but I think obviously you're just gonna wanna probably keep that on there. Over here on the shoulders, these like side flaps will move, these front flaps will move forward and back, but again, they're kind of blocked by these parts here, but those will move the side flaps of the shoulder armor there. You have separate articulation here in the wrist part of the forearm, and then your wrist joint itself down here is just going to be on a just ball joint there, but again, you can see some really nice color separation with those green parts inlaid there, especially in the DX version. Those look really nice because they shine really brightly in there. All your skirt armor is nicely articulated, and then your hip joint is a swinging hip joint that will swing to the front and the back to give you some more nice articulation for doing some really nice poses here with this but again it's gonna be really nice here on the metal frame version of the DX version that just the frame just looks really nice when you bend the knee you get some really nice separation of this knee armor there this side bit on the side there also looks really nice again just really nice little color separation everywhere here and there this ankle armor can move around like that it's a very large ankle armor but it does work really well and then with the feet, you have a lot of articulation here. The toe does bend down like that. Up underneath the feet, that looks really nice. Again, just with the metal frame, with that being all that shiny metal up inside there. 
around here on the back. This part does also move up and down like that. Your back skirts do move if you're the kind of person that minds about that. And then around here on the backpack, the main wings here will rotate. The cannons are on little mechanical arms here that you can bring that up and around kind of up over the top here i'm just kind of being very careful with it because honestly these mechanical arms here that the cannons are on are very small little parts and so i think you probably want to be a little bit careful with those but once you bring that forward you can also extend this out like that so there's a little bit of an extension there so those do look pretty cool and those will look really cool once we have the kit transformed as well all right so here's the kit transformed and yes transformation is also very similar to the wing gundam as it's basically just you turn the head around you lay it flat you don't even actually bend the legs up backwards like you would normally with like the wing gundam but you move the backpack to the back skirt and flip the wings around and you put the shield and the rifle on top of the back and that's basically it so not a very complex transformation at all pretty simple Honestly, probably most people are gonna wanna just keep this in its regular robot mode, but it, I mean, the I'm actually more surprised that the stand actually holds it like this just because of the style of the connector. It doesn't seem like it would really hold up the kit in this way very well, but it's holding on there well enough, so it seems to be all right. Before we get to some action poses and we wrap up the review, a couple things I wanna warn you about. Number one, on the deluxe version, these this dark grayish paint here does scuff easily, so like this is where I had the attachment piece on here, and you can see that paint is just kind of a little bit scratched up there so that will happen if you're not careful also the different holding hands that you have for this kit I mean just kind of suck so you have this hand here and they are like slightly flexible so in order to get this hand to hold the beam rifle I've been just having a really hard time with it just flexing the fingers around to try to get this onto the beam rifle so that's hard and you have your hands which are meant for the sword and the sword handle just doesn't want to fit in down there so what I would recommend you guys to do is actually cut this right here so the hand is just molded as one piece but if you just cut between the finger and thumb just really carefully like that and then you're actually able to separate that a little bit again it's going to be kind of hard to show you guys but once you're able to separate that a little bit that'll give you a little bit more flexibility to be able to get the sword handle into the hand which is yeah i've just been having a very hard time with that so it's just what i recommend you guys to do with your kit as well but so as you guys can see here as we get into taking a look at some action poses with both the normal version and the deluxe version you can see how the weapons look with the kit they do look very cool the kind of very oversized weapons really fit with the design i think the articulation is fantastic of these as well like i said before we didn't go through every single point of articulation but hopefully you guys can see now now, here with some action poses just the range of articulation and different pose that you can do with these kids basically you can do any pose that you could possibly want with this kit the articulation is very nice even with the regular version not having the metal parts in the frame I'm not having any issues with weight with weapons with this and I gotta be honest while I had my doubts about how the base would hold the kit even like the very heavy the X version it's not really having too much issues with uh, the weight of the kit with that adapter piece holding the kit up it's doing a pretty fine job so you should be pretty all right in that area as well so while there's a ton of parts and the kit definitely takes a while and even getting the kit into different poses like i said sometimes you're having to struggle a lot with just getting the hands to hold the weapons but at the end of the day is a very awesome looking kit so whether you want to go for the standard version or the deluxe version whatever your plans might be for the kit i think you'll definitely be happy with this one it's very cool the kit should be arriving very soon, and if you guys are interested in pre-ordering either version of it, you can do so at USA Gundam Store. The link to that will be down in the video description below. Of course, you guys can use my coupon code ZAKURELIUS10 for 10% off everything there on the site as well. But if you guys were looking for something a little bit different to build, and especially if you're a Transformers fan, I mean, it definitely has that vibe, so I would highly recommend you guys check this kit out. But as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think about the kit? Is it one that you're planning on getting? And maybe which version are you planning on getting? Which one do you think you might enjoy the most? And as always, guys, just thank you so much for checking out the video, liking the video, commenting, subscribing. All that is greatly appreciated. Until next time, hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.